one of the other things like in this case here this particular project has a whole bunch of different variables and advanced actions and uh, you know you're going to run into the situation where you write an advanced action and then you change your mind and then maybe you want to change something else as well so you know like write a new advanced action for example and i've certainly done that many times as things will uh, will progress and i rewrite advanced actions and come up with new ideas if i go into the advanced action window you can see here from this drop down list I have tons of different advanced actions, um, you know, and, and many of them may or may not be used. So if you're unsure as to which one is being used or not, you can select one for one of your existing actions and click on the usage button. And if you see this message, item is not currently in use, you know that it's safe to delete this particular advanced action which I'm going to do. And there's a little trash can icon up here. Uh, just so you're aware, um, you know, unused advanced actions, again, this is something that takes up space in your project file. They won't get published out in your final version. But if you were going to revisit this particular project, let's say six months or a year from now, it could be very difficult to ascertain which of these items is is what and it's a lot easier if you can get rid of all the unused ones so i'm going to go ahead and delete that and i can continue to do this process and simply check to see if it's in use or not so in this case this advanced action is being used on slide four so i'm not going to delete that one let's check the next one you know and one by one you can check to see if you have any unused advanced actions this one's not in use, so again, I'm safe to delete that. And again, this is going to reduce my overall project file, or certainly declutter it anyway. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com. Follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.